Hello guys, welcome back to Solid Motion VFX. This time we'll do a quick tutorial on a basic setup on making a shockwave effect inside Cinema 4D with uh, using a film effects. So let's <coughs> jump into it. Um, first we need to create an emitter up in simulate particles emitter. Let's rotate it 90 degrees. The particles are going up. Not so much speech. So go into the emitter on the particle type. And let's see. Uh, let's let's say four thousand. And we only want them to emit for two frames. And lifetime don't want that too much. So let's try thirty-five. Okay, like a burst coming out. Then go into the meter, switch to cone. I'm I'm missing a, like we have in 3 3DX Max this divergency where you can spread them out um, a bit more than just flat ahead. So right now we have this. Let's go back to the particle. I actually want to give it some more speed. 250. Yeah. And they die after 35 frames. Yeah, you know what? Let's keep it like that. So it's pretty flat here. This will be a basic setup. So let's add in a film effects. And also let's add in a particle source. The particle source where we're gonna add our emitter. So drag your emitter down to your particle source, like so. So now it's in here, and you can see that by all these uh, yellow rings. Okay, and let's actually bump up the radius a bit, like so. Go back to the film fix. Let's ensure that we have the particle source. It is in here, so that is good. And let's go into the viewport, ensure that we are set up with GPU. Go to general tab, and 300 frames are on, 300 frames are on. We have our path selected. Go into the simulation tab, bump up the quality. Maximum region this time actually. Let's make a sample of these 300. Uh, and minimum value, bump that up to 3. And actually 4 on the maximum. Advection strike 1.1. Time scale 1.6. Uh, let's see, gravity, let's keep that at 1, just to start with. Vortice strength, let's get it up. Turbulence, yes, 1.5. And scale, let's leave that at 20 for now. Details up. And blocking side on the C axis, negative. And we don't want to simulate fuel, so let's turn that off. And let's go into the particle source, down to the smoke tab. Bump that smoke up to free. Let's go back to the film fix. Rendering. And we don't have fire, so we can shut that off. So for smoke, you can go with whatever you want. You have to play with these uh, settings. Pass it to free. So let's just <coughs> see what we got. It's just a pretty basic simple setup here. Uh, you can see we didn't uh, we didn't uh, play around with our grid here, so that definitely needs some expansion. So go into the film fix, the general tab, the width, and the length. We don't need that much height. Let's see, they're bursting out here, like so. And that's also, let's uh, increase the space a little bit so we have a faster sim. Stop it and then restart here. And then we have the blocking side on C on, so that means it won't 
go past the floor here. It's going to react with the floor actually. And let's stop it here. Uh, I want to make the radius bigger. I don't like those uh, trail like. So let's see the particle source. Then we go down to radius. Bump that up like so. Let's also add in a light here. Light there. Go into the Fumer Fix illumination. Bring in these light sources. We have step size 120, jade ring 25. And let's do another sim here. And because we have increased the radio size, that's why we see these big plums. And let's make a quick stop here. As I told you, it's just a basic setup to get you going on. But uh, let's see what we got. And let if I turn off my lights. Yeah, I definitely want the lights on. We can play around with them a little bit and of course to get some more detail in there let's uh, go into the fumer fix and do something with the spacing here so we're gonna increase increase our resolution now do another sim here And let's stop it here and take a look at how we have. And this is basically how you, you should uh, be operating with Fumafix. It's uh, a lot of trials, do a lot of sims until you got a decent uh, until you got a decent look. And I think I need to go into the rendering tab in the Fumafix. And let's see, the opacity is up. If we lower it down. What do we have then? Yeah, there we start to see some detailing there. And of course we can always, um, we can always go into the light source actually and play with some values here as well to change the look of the color. So uh, basically uh, go in and do your final sim. Um, I would go in to the general tab and also decrease this a lot to give it some Maybe point, I would say point uh, four five. That's gonna give you a pretty high sim, but uh, uh, it's gonna give you a really good quality. Uh, then play with the lights, uh, put in a sun, so you can really uh, have a nice setup here. And uh, this would be really nice to use this in conjunction with a with a nuclear blast or an, even the explosion. So if you combine this with the other tutorial I made, then uh, you'll get some really nice looking uh, explosions. So do a, like a shock wave and then an explosion, and then also use the particle system to spawn some trails coming out. So this was just to give you a basic idea. Thank you guys. Please subscribe and hit the like button, and I'll come back soon with another troll. Bye.